All right, I got the thing up and running. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is DDLC Plus, huh? Yes. I am Ooh. trying the ending where I balance three timelines at the same time. Oh. All right. Um, so this one is the Sayori one, where you like go for her. It's yeah, not yeah. skiing, that's Yuri. I know Yuri's your favorite, so you want to do this one first? Um, well, just this one, I mean, because you, you won't have time to do the other two. I... sure. Alright, let's go. Hint, you can use the skip button to fast forward through the text you've already read. Okay. Hi again, Shucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you didn't oh, wait, should we, should we, line, wait, should we flesh out who should read whose lines? Uh, alright, alright, I'm, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read the women. And, and all of, all four, you can do, you sure you can do all four? Yes. Okay, I guess I'm just me. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, oh, shoot, wait. Nah, don't worry, I'm... This might all be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Uh, I was the last to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Shucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? I'm like the most accustomed to literature. I probably, you know, I probably read more than most people in the, uh, on, on this, uh, Discord server. I'm sorry. That was me. Now she got the whole pie. <laughs> oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slap. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this game is so much better to play with friends. At least, yes. the, at least this opening part, once the, once the yes. twists and turns start coming in, then, uh, then, then it, then, then it's more, and it gets more personal then. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. I never, I'm never, probably never going to join a club, <laughs> if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> and last year too. Don't forget, actually we didn't have clubs, at my school we didn't have clubs the year before that, so yeah. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. <laughs> I think it's what. <laughs> but if you don't, if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Let's go. <laughs> Natsuki, you, <laughs> Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Oh wait, that's my line. Uh, Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! I don't know, you read more manga than I do, what's your opinion on this? Yes. Yes, okay. That's three <laughs> votes to one. I think we've won. I'm gonna just say it is because... Who's the one? Monica. She's the only other person in this game Bye. who has any opinion on it. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Shokohead always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with his with busy work without me even asking. I'm so much nicer in this game than I am in real life. Like cooking, cleaning my room. I hate cleaning. How dependable. Ah, uh, Sayori, that's just because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire, but that never happened to me. I never. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? We're the best. I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Shucklehead can become good friends, too! Uh, 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 uh. Sayori. 
I don't know how to pronounce that. As usual, Sari seems oblivious to the weird situation she put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today. Y you know. Wait, 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 Sayori. Uh, oh, eh, me? Uh, uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's it's really nothing. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? I. N never mind. They already made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh. uh what? What? What do I do? Huh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a... What's the line? Pleasant surprise. No, I'm trying to think. What's the, what's the one from Star Wars? A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Yeah. It'll make me happy no matter what. It, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to like, feel left out. Who reads books? So I picked out a book and thought, and I thought that you might enjoy. I swear this better be a, a comedy, sci-fi, horror parody trope. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. If I were to open it on a website, I better not have to scroll. And if we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Great. Th 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 this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I will definitely read this. <laughs> Definitely. I enthusiastically take the book. <laughs> well, you, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the book, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry, <laughs> Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Why do I have a boner? <laughs> 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 I don't know if my mic picked up all that coughing, but I sure hope it did. Yuri's yeah. face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's mm. waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Gay okay, kid. Too. I'm finally getting curious to talk to Yuri a little more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from her reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh-huh. Ooh, music change. Crap. <laughs> I think she noticed me looking at her. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, she sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split <laughs> second. Uh, that's gonna be my pronunciation for dot 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 from now on. But that only makes her hide her face deeper into her book. S sorry, sorry. I, w I was just spacing out. I oh, I muttered this. I, I, was, I was just spacing out. Oh. Oh wait, I didn't read that. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. It's fine. If I was focused, then I, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I, I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah. 
Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. You gotta you gotta get that uh, you know buy one get one free sale. I see. Yeah. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I think it's the buy one get one free. I'll definitely, definitely, very much start reading it soon. Very definitely. I'm glad to hear. Totally. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable <laughs> story. I don't like relatable stories. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well... I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing at these? These are like the... Like... Richer. I made that joke already. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. She doesn't even know what it's about. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Probably in Russian. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Editor put, put an ominous eye looking symbol on right, right here. Okay, yeah, cool, thanks. Alright. I just wanted to make sure that I don't accidentally give any away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. Oh, and you said this was a relatable I see what you're saying. Thanks. Thanks. I, uh, thanks. I'm, I really appreciate how you view me and what I relate to. I am flattered. That's, that's kinda exactly what I just said. That's kind of dark. Is it? Is it? You think I can relate to this? Why I, am I, I getting mad at it? I can. I can relate to it. Yes, but because I moved in with my long lost younger sister, and then got attacked by some D class from the SCP Foundation, <laughs> and then I destroyed most of my relationships and became a antisocial little antisocial kid. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Editor, you know what to do here. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Not a fan of that sort of thing, Shucklehead. Nah. You should read Black Autumn. Both both of you. It's good. It can be a movie. It could be a TV show if it wanted to be. You guys huge mommy milkers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just Black Autumn's better. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories. So don't worry. Just, like, Black Autumn... And, uh, in fact, all of SNC Plastics is really good. I hope so. Out of the three canons I've read, it's probably my favorite. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so... <laughs> she is so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories... I swear, you better not say, reminds me of you. They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants it to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. This reminds me of a meme I saw. Should I, should I describe it? No. Okay. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plan. Are and you saying I'm one-sided and naive? Uh, I'm rambling, uh, aren't I? Why am I so defensive? This is a video game. Not again. I'm, I'm sorry. 
Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess that's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Oh boy. When, when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. I wasn't paying attention. Uh. Okay, cool. Uh, do I do that? Ne never, never. I've never, ever, right? You can back me up on this high rise. Yeah. I have never, ever, in the history of ever, started talking about something I've read with you and Cyberspace and the rest of the, and the, rest of the people. Uh, and then you guys have gotten to the point where you needed to mute me because I wouldn't shut up. That has never happened, right? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shuckle. Never, ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, n never ever. Exactly. Please put the Desert Eagle down. No. And, and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I, I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. See? See, it just means I'm passionate. <laughs> the least I can do is listen. <laughs> I'm I'm laughing because I'm like using the words of my character in game that he's saying to someone else to back myself up in real life. <laughs> I'm too much of a weeb. I I, I love her so much. <laughs> I mean my you know Yeah, she's 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 up she's probably like I don't know. She'd probably be, like, second or third on my list for this beginning part, but uh, uh, towards the end, she gets a little, I don't know, out of my comfort zone, let's just say that. Okay, much. okay. That, 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 the, her, that put her at the bottom for me. It is oh. a literature club, after all. Ah. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you, you don't have to. <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book I had put into my bag. Oh, shoot, wait. Uh, Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. You sure? You seem a little apprehensive. No. I I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. And is reading in company with someone. Well, I think we're doing a great job of, like, us two, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is going to get a billion views. This is going to beat out my, uh, Serpent's, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Serpent Library. The Serpent, the, the, the Serpent, the Moose, and the Wanderer's Library. Right, it's going to get, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. triple the amount of views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, uh, oh, all right. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting. But the feeling is somewhat comforting. Damn it, I just want to hug her so much. <laughs> I need a hug, guys. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> I would, but you live, like, you know, yeah, too far away. I'll hug my body pillow. <laughs> Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she is not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I, I, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Editor, insert a joke about Canada, like right here. <laughs> 
Oh wait, I, uh, I, uh, okay. Uh, I, I, I do? I don't really mean to. Uh, sorry. I, I mean... Oh, eyes are gone. <laughs> Dude, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against yours, and then hold my book more between the... Hold... Between the two... Oh, the two of the desks. Okay, I get it. Uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my... Right? Right hand? I wonder, I wonder if she's tight. This is blatant propaganda. <laughs> okay. I can't believe it. I can't. I really can't. I cannot. I'll make a whole video essay about it one day. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe that'll be my one subscriber special. Right. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta do something. Oh my god. How do, how do I do... Ugh. How do I get rid of this text box? I need to do something. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Is it F1? Escape? I just, I just, I just want to kiss her right how now. Do I, how do I get rid of the... How do I get rid of this text box? No, 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 I need to get rid of the text box. I want to, I want to take a screenshot, I don't know how. Uh... I used to be able to do it. Is it escape? It's not escape, okay. Not auto, save, load, settings. Settings? No, it's not settings. Diamond holds the left side of the book between the thumb and forefinger. Ah! I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. Mm, you can clearly yes. tell because you can't see yes. any of me besides yes. this yes. hand. Yes. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's not distracting me. I have laser focus. It might be distracting. I'm falling in love. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Yeah. To turn the page? Ah, sorry. Oh no, I'm apologizing now. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again. Their eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Just like, read fast. Ah. It's not that hard. But that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with- Was she always smiling like that? Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes a page before me, so I turn it on my own, by my own violation. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page feels almost like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches man, it. Man, her man, I, I, would, I wish I was him reading that book next to her, you know? You know, just all just you... Like, this this thing. was in the original game. You can get this for, uh, for free. For free? Yeah. Mm. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You know... think so? How, how does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. You know, she, you know, wouldn't you agree that Yuri's kind of sharp? Yeah, you know, you know, sharp, that's what makes her tight. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but she also second guesses all of the stuff. <laughs> but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like, she's afraid that she'll do something wrong. 
It's not like I can see into your head or anything. That's why I like her so much. She's just like me. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I, I see. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at the way she's looking. Yeah. Intimate moment over. I ruined it. Okay. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Shucklehead. I should have picked a better name. That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way. I don't know how you could have meant that in a good way. I don't know how you could have meant, like, oh, this this character that you were talking about who is, like, very flawed and probably the villain of the story. I think they remind me of you a little bit. I don't know how you can mean that in a good way. Sorry, I didn't know you were self-conscious. Yes, of course, because she apologized. She doesn't, like, apologize for everything. I guess I meant more that it's kind of cute. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. Uh <laughs> 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 I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh. <laughs> Stop. What is that? <laughs> Yuri exhales. <laughs> Go on, exhale. <laughs> Spared from finishing her thought. <laughs> is that right, Yuri? Is that, is that alright, Yuri? <laughs> you look kinda down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not... It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book. Okay. Causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Oh. I probably could have voiced that better. Uh. Um... I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's... that's good reasoning. You know... In that case, feel free to finish the two... the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. Alright, no, that has an exclamation. Alright! I stand up. Man, I make I a mental cozy with her so much. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? I wrote three across three different timelines. I'm way ahead of you. Yeah. Replace this with what I just said, <laughs> editor. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well now, that's every- Well now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! <laughs> Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their own poems. Sayori, <laughs> Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica's wrote hers in a composition notebook. What's a composition notebook? Damn, I want to join the literary club, you know? For some Editor, some put a picture of a composition notebook on screen. Okay, cool, that's what a composition notebook is. Thanks, Editor. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where simp, I see Simp, simp, simp. Shut up. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same, myself. Who should I show my poem to first, High Rise? Yuri, 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 Do you want to do her first, or do you want to save her for last? Well, 
well, you know, you gotta establish that relationship first. And I just want to see her again, man. She, she, I'm so in love. <laughs> sure. I'm crying. You're crying. Yuri seems the most experienced. An experience. Uh, I'm not gonna make another prequel reference. So I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. I don't want a fair opinion. I want something biased in my favor. <laughs> Come on, in-game me. As Yuri reads the poem, I noticed her eyes light. Exceptional. Exactly. Uh, why is that? Castiglione wrote a book on exactly this. I, I've totally read that book. Mm -hmm. Did... Did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Mm, it just I, fades I, out of existence. I... It's uh, <laughs> uh, going to hate me. This, is, this isn't this is a side. How am I hearing this? Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Hmm? That's... I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> <laughs> That's like the best nervous laughter I've ever heard. Yuri takes a breath. <sighs> so... What, what kind of writing experience do you have? Uh, English, English stuff. Not, not, not here. Your use of imagery and math indicates that you've written a lot of poetry before. Okay, I, in my actual real writing for like stories and stuff, I feel like I use too, too much imagery where like, or, or it's to the point where, like, you know, a thing I could have said in, like, you know, two or three sentences ends up taking, like, a whole paragraph. That's good, though. It's not mm -hmm. good. I, but I hate people who write like that. Like, I hate reading stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not like that. Metaphors. Uh, yes, everything is a meta... Everything I've ever written is just a meta commentary, and if you don't like it, then you're just not smart enough to understand. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> really? Exactly. I, I just relate so much to my own self in this game that I am shocked. Wow, that's a huge compliment huge. coming from you. Huge. 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 You gotta, you gotta say it like Trump, okay? How would Trump say he? Huge. <laughs> Editor, please cut this part out so that I, I don't get cancelled. Leave it in, come on. You work for me. <laughs> this is actually my first time, really. Ooh, it's his first time. Ooh. Uh -huh. Yuri stares at me blankly. Then looks at my poem again. Hmm. Well, I know that. Oh boy, here comes here comes the mean part. I I, I just um. Oh no, mean part. Let's go. Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. This is the reason I was able to tell. Oh, here comes the mean part. It's just that there were a lot of specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Shut up. <laughs> and having been through all that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Okay. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. I don't know if I actually did that. If I've ever done that. Actually, I have. It's, it's That's sad. what musicians do all the time. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. 
I don't know why Kevin just, uh, cut that out, editor. I don't know why my English teacher just didn't say that. I just want to go <laughs> Once Yuri finds her train of thought, as it, 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 it is as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. I might take you some time, but it it might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Very valuable. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Mm -hmm. I bet she'd say the same thing about you. Biased? biased. How? Uh, uh, um. Well. <laughs> never mind. I, I shouldn't be talking to about people like that. Mature enough not to take an easy dig behind someone's back. I can respect it. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you're addressing is apologizing to herself oh, yeah. or me or to Natsuki. Oh yeah, she's not mature like that. You know, that that's how you know she <laughs> she's a dominant force, man. Like, mm -hmm. That's kind of one of the things I don't like about her. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. Uh, wait, who should read this, you or me? I'll, I'll read it, I'll read it, okay? Right. In my Yuri voice, okay? <laughs> I'd love to share my thought process behind it. I would share my thought process behind the one I wrote, but I can't remember it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Hmm. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. I can't. The tendrils of my hair beneath the amber glow, babe. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have stood the test of time. The last to get to be replaced by the sticking blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickens, I flicken back. Oh my god, I just want to marry this woman right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I still have to go out and uh, run today. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. I have to agree. Cursive is, I, I can't bear to read it. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. Bro, simp. But, but it took you a long time to read. It took you a long time to read. Shut up. <laughs> uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. <laughs> that, that's really... Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was very descriptive. It, it wasn't too short? Let, be honest, let's be honest here, with me nothing is too short. I, I usually write longer poems. Cactus moment. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be on. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something with the Ooh, first time, first time. <laughs> really think she can- Come on, I- I- I read like the highest IQ con- I- the, this is not biased at all. I read like the highest IQ content ever. Uh, and- and she thinks that she needs to take it easy because- she, uh, because I've never read her work before. Okay. Thanks, I, I, I actually... Something easy to digest to put 
I suppose. I like that. I like easy to digest. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I would make an owl joke, but I can't think of one. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Shucklehead. Oh uh, no, I've fallen for it. Alright, I, I may- this might just be me remembering what happened in the past when I played this before, but is it- is it like a ghost because it's like a remnant of the past that's like pretty- that's like dead but it's not quite gone and it's still there because it's like the last old-timey streetlight before, uh, that doesn't have an LED in it? Is that the- is that the metaphor? Mm. Really? I must have totally missed the point, which I probably did. Well, I, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. It took me a long time to read and I still only glanced over it, ouch. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. I'm very aware everything I've ever done is a meta-commentary. <laughs> In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. What does she mean perhaps? She wrote this. Lingering in her masturbating piece of comfort, unable to let go of the path. I can make that reference. It's from the sequels, not the prequels. Uh, let go of the past. Kill it if you have to. And soon to be left with nothing. That's, uh... A lot more solemn, putting it that way. My queen. I hadn't take even me, thought of that. Take me to Neverland. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. That's that's your line. Uh. <laughs> it, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah, it really wasn't. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, of course. Hmm. <sighs> you know... I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Shucklehead. Ah, me too. <laughs> uh, I'm oh. just gonna leave for uh, to get some water because it's uh, my mouth is yeah, getting dry. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm so gonna much. go pee too. All right. Just, let me just suck on this, uh... <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm taking the wheel now. We're going... One of these two. You know what? She said this is biased. Let's hope it's biased in my favor. Hmm? What? This is not the bias I wanted. Harsh. What do you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Darn, she saw right through me. The poem I wrote took me all about five minutes. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally have not shouldered, like, probably a third of the uh, creative writing project that you, me, Cyberspace, and the other guys are doing, right? Mm -mm. Totally have not shouldered a third of that. Maybe, maybe a quarter. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I, I did put in some minimal amount of effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about- Aw, oh, I'm mean in this game, jeez. 
fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. That hopeless. Fair enough, fair enough. Come on, stand up for yourself, man. You're not gonna let this, you know, three foot three <laughs> really talk like that Lolly. to you. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Angels can fly. People can try. But that's about it. At least and... it's in <coughs> legible handwriting. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. Look at me. I'm so. I let. Lo, look at. Look at this amazing writing by the writing team. This curveball. Okay. This juxtaposition. That's the word of the week for me. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like this? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. You're saying this to a guy who literally said that he thinks that the pinnacle of SCP writing is CAC. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Fear alone moment. I like this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I under- I didn't get that message at all. I got it. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. That was- I like- I like- Like, I like- Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into this than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad that you learned something. I didn't expect from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, um, uh, All right, nice, friendly person everyone loves. Mm. This is a good poem, Shucklehead. Exactly. Are you sure it's your first time? Writing poetry? Yes. Of oh. course. I've written other things. It's not that good. Am I the kind of- am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? Come on. Yes. I am I am the guy. The guy. Well, I know <laughs> you're the kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> but that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. What do you mean? Or that you wouldn't write one at all. What do you mean? I'm really happy that you wrote one. It remind it just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. I know. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you. 
in the in the club room. Is this an aside? Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'd break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Shucklehead. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? I'm literally giving you $10 to pay cash or something. <laughs> Shut up. Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. I know. How can you say no to this? Come on. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure that you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! <laughs> now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Alright. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleep from my eyes. Are you asking to me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I would sleep I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Most relatable <laughs> poem by far. <laughs> Sayori. This is just just a guess, but did you wait until the morning to write this? This morning? Like, five minutes ago? No! Uh, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I, I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it like it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or, uh, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I know. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna start following this now. I, I need to start eating more. I need to start eating breakfast. I get all cranky. Like, I mean, if I'm already late, you know, what's like 10 more minutes to get something to eat? Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> that, this was so much fun. Monica's the best. You right. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Repla <laughs> replace, editor, replace what, what my character is saying now with what I just said. But that's your line. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I look forward to it. Why do I have good voice acting for <laughs> You're you're better than you know. I might, I might, I might try and rope you in for 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 female characters in the future. <laughs> okay. Ah, big Hi, dog Shucklehead. Yourself. Having a good time so far. The best. Ah yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way. Since you're new and everything. Don't tell me you're gonna don't tell me you're gonna go easy on me. Don't be like everyone else. If you ever had any suggestions for the club, 
like new activities or things we can do better. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? There may be someone who I feel would be beneficial, like not here. I'm not naming any names, but like someone. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up, especially considering who that someone is. Pretty girl. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? Please don't tear me apart. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> don't worry, Shucklehead. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mmm. Great job, Shucklehead. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. I know. It's really metaphorical. It was. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Because my writing and my reading are both very shallow. I guess I underestimated you. Oh wait, shoot. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. This is exactly my philosophy for cross country, okay? If you never try, then when you do try, it looks way better. It like it looks like you just made like the biggest improvement ever. <laughs> That's not very fair. Might not be, but you, you, I didn't. I didn't win it, but like I'm sure that's probably the the way you win the most improvement award. No. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that you know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I know. That. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Okay, so that's what you like, simple and direct. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. I don't think my writing left very much for other people to derive from, but okay. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel or by letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take you years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much ab about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot, especially considering I am juggling this exact same procedure over three timelines. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Totally not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Of course. Don't worry, I'm not very good. Says the president of the writing club. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. 
Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes? A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No! I can't see it. I reel, being blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and that he on the other side was looking in. This is about me. Oh my gosh. This is about us. This is some, this is some foreshadowing. Oh my gosh. This is pedophysical. Mm. Is it pedophysical or pedophysical? That doesn't matter. It's so, a made-up word. what do you think? Hmm, it's very... Freeform. If that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that kind of writing style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Oh, was I supposed to notice that? When performed out loud, it can be e really powerful. Uh, so what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if you know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Must have been some epiphany. It's been influencing my poems a little bit. I think it's a bit more than the poems. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Maybe. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Uh, we better take this to heart. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Alright, you take we gotta take notes for uh Yeah yeah yeah. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. We're totally not doing that, right? Damn it. Anyways. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. <coughs> uh, antimony soul. <coughs> Sorry, my, uh, I think I might be a little sick. Another way to think about it is, is, it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way that my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are again happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. Oh boy. The dynamic duo. They gingerly exchange pieces of papers, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions <laughs> Oh no. Matsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? 
Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. You? Did you just completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can you- how can that be cute? I- I know that. I- I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh? <laughs> I'm looking at the, uh, audio, and, like, <laughs> you're- 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 like, I swear, your- your Natsuki voice is, like, Several times louder than, than your Yuri voice. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, 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 well, I, I do have a couple suggestions. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Oh boy, here comes Yuri's long thing about how that's not how you accept criticism. Which people did, by the way. So Yuri liked it. And Shucklehead did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Oh boy. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Sucklehead like my poem too, you know? Then again, I do have low standards. He even told me he was impressed by me. <laughs> I like this cut here. And then the next song is pretty good. Natsuki suddenly stands up! Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize that you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, uh. It's not... It's not... It's not what I... <laughs> You're dragging that way longer than two you should be, but all right. Y y y y y just... Yuri stands up as well, as if they weren't already standing. Maybe you're just jealous that Shucklehead appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? <laughs> How do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No. If, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> I like how you dragged up the two U's longer than this six. Shut up. <laughs> uh, uh, um. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew size bigger as soon as Shucklehead started showing up. <laughs> Wait, she. Natsuki! Uh, I, I would say I'm flattered, but Natsuki. I didn't even notice, so... Um, Natsuki, th th that's a little... Uh, this she... doesn't involve you! Nah. I don't like fighting, guys! I'm voicing four oh, women. 
suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. I'm voicing myself, my internal monologue, and that's about it. Shokohu. She, she, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have been happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all con convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Every English teacher should take notes. Help me explain that to her, Shucklehead. Wee, wee. There's a reason that we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. Okay, we, we, we back, we back, and we back. <laughs> All right, it's, we're back. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that right, Shokohan? Uh, totally. Um, uh... Well... well? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I even know anything about writing. <laughs> you can tell because of how great my creative writing part, my part in the creative writing project is. But whomst ever I agree with, they will probably think more highly of me. Who should we agree with? So of course, that's going to be... Yuri. Natsuki. You're right. I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You really shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Quote of the day from me. <laughs> That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. I understand. Yuri. Uh -huh. You are a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it sometimes... And it... And it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. Uh, I see. I didn't notice that. I, I, I'm sorry. But Natsuki, you took that way too far. Yuri means well, and if you could just, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have even happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It, it was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. <laughs> you both said some things that you didn't mean. You really apologize, don't you think you should too? <laughs> Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. Oh wow, so sad. She's trapped, and at this point, being defiant only because she. And at this point, being defiant, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Uh, uh, um. Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Oh, I gotta go. Do Sorry, sorry, she doesn't, she need, doesn't to... need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll spare me from having to look at all of your faces right now. <laughs> Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. 
On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it into the trash. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. <laughs> Everything alright? I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, you're Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. May maybe anyone except for me. <laughs> I don't think any less of you. Well, well. Alright, I believe you. Thanks, Shucklehead, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club right now. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing Natsu that Natsuki said about, you know... Uh, the, uh, magical, you know, size. I would never do anything so shameful. So... Huh? What, what thing that Natsuki said? Uh, 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 um... Well, never mind that. I'm supposed to have not have heard that, okay. Uh, editor, cut that part out. I'm going to take some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. It's like the most awkward way to say, like, you know, I'd okay, like Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I I'd say it was worth it. It was a right, well, most. <coughs> I'm not sick, guys. Sucklehead, so what? How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, did I? I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. <laughs> With any luck, that means I can at least do a little better job at impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Poem master. Shucklehead. Ready to walk home? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, he beams at me. Yo, how long am I supposed to be doing this? Uh, probably not an hour and 20 minutes, I'm gonna be honest here. It truly has been a while since Sari and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Either? Either? Sayori. About what happened earlier... Uh, eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that... Does that kind of thing happen... often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I, I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you, and we'll explore that one in the future. In a future episode, probably coming somewhere in December. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, this has been High Rise. This, this uh, is not. My wait, channel we're almost is in done. the description. Uh, Oh, we're, wait. We're not at the, we're not the end yet. You know, Shucklehead, it's nice that I get to spend some time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. 
And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat, I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Yeah. I, I, I said... How do you read? I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. I don't need her. I have you! Yeah. Yeah. It, you got me. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, do you want to help pick out words that yeah, you're able to like? Then the, then the video will end. Okay. Yeah. Mm, let's right. see. Agonizing. Agonizing? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Let me uh, sit tight for a sec. Let me get something. Uh, ambient. 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 Ambient? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Crimson. Oh, really quick, what's what's your opinion? Crimson or corruption? Uh, well, since I like purple, corruption. Alright, send it. Um, uh, vivid. Vivid. Hers are probably the easiest to pick out from the rest of them. Scars. Aha, there goes your streak. Damn it. Inferno. Depression. <laughs> I think. Fulton. Fulton. Uh, that's clearly a Yuri word. If neither Incongruent. Of us Congruent. Infallible. Valentine? Ah. Uh. 
vivacious. Melancholy. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Save. Overwrite. Yes. All right. Uh, All right. Anyways, guys, uh, that was High Rise. Head, uh, wait, wait, wait. Check uh, High Rise for the description. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Uh, wait. I need. Um, let me turn the music off so I can actually hear what you're saying. Hey. Go anyway. again. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you hope you enjoyed me and Shucklehead's uh, reading of this. Uh, we'll continue. Uh, link to my channel is in the description. <laughs>